dear students hope you all are able to understand the subject of animal behavior and you all are enjoying the subject today i would be discussing and beginning the main topics related to the study of animal behavior which are a part of your curriculum the very first topic is the orientation behavior now this topic i would be covering under four parts and today i would start with the part 1 if we talk about the behavior or the study related to behavior we basically classify behavior under two main heads one the stereotype behavior and the second acquired behavior. in case of stereotype behavior organism is to a large extent stimulus bound where a specific stimuli triggers a sequence of responses also known as innate inborn or inherent behavior so stereotype is actually when a specific stimuli releases a sequence of responses within an individual organism and this basically is innate or what we termed as inborn or inherent right from the birth this further is of three types orientation reflexed and instinctive talking about orientation it basically comprises of two terms which we use for the purpose of uh, studying this behavior one is the word taxes and the other is the word kinesis taxes is the orientation of the body with respect to the source of stimulation so once an organism tries to orient definitely it would move a bit but, but that won't be locomotion that would be just movement movement related to the source of the stimulus that is taxes and the organism's body takes up a particular direction which may be combined with the two locomotion so if it is associated with locomotion which is termed as kinesis so that the animal moves towards or away from or at a fixed angle of the source so orientation itself is classified under two terms that is taxis and kinesis and the whole thing then is termed as orientation the second term associated with stereotype behavior is reflex reflexes involve all or most of the body like the flexion of a leg in response to painful stimuli or pupil constriction to intense light these are outcome of inherited neural mechanism so whenever if you get some pain if a thorn is pricked on to or a needle is pricked on to your leg or hand you immediately pull your uh, that part away from that uh, pain so you are in immediately what the response is that you pull your leg or you pull your hand so this is actually the reflex similarly if you uh, from a, uh, in the day daylight you move come from outside and you enter a room um, you are not able to see the things very clearly that is because of the constriction of the pupil which was because of the intense light outside after some time it becomes normal and you are able to visualize all the things within the room so these are actually inherited from your neural mechanism that reflex innate or unlearned now this is an inherited pattern of fixed responses which are independent of environment and learning the fact that each species shows a particular behavior say for example building of a particular web building of a nest or singing a particular song support the view that instinct is a predetermined behavior acquired behavior patterns of an individual develop uniquely in its life history through the process of learning so Uh, the stereotype comprises of orientation reflexed and instinctive 
and the second category is of the acquired behavior the acquired behavior patterns of an individual are learned through the process of its life right from the birth till the um, end of the life uh, the individual learns various things and according to on the basis of what it has learned it responses so firstly there is a reflex but secondly um, after learning that ref you don't need to because if first you um, it was a reflex because it the action of a prick that was a reflex but then you know this is a pointed needle next time you won't go near it because you have learned that if this is prick it is going to pain so that is a learned behavior orientation is the position of the animal with reference to gravity or resource this is the position the animal maintains in order to reach the resource positional orientation is to maintain upright posture against gravity for which vertebrates have membranous labyrinth and invertebrates have the statuses so actually the why why the need of the orientation of course there would be need because uh, the animal needs to position itself mainly it is with reference to gravity like say for example a young infant it moves on its four legs but then it, it needs to support because it has to work against the gravitational pull then you start erect you stand erect on your two legs and you walk so if you have to orient yourself because of the gravitational force and orientation actually is in order to reach a resource and until and unless you don't position yourself for that particular thing you will not be able to move giving an example say for example you need to drink water or you need to eat now in your case because we are highly evolved and we don't leave, uh, leave, uh, leave our life in a open field but say for example or other organisms uh, which are staying in a forest which reside in a forest their habitat is forest they need to uh, search for the water what will happen is if they have learned that yes there is the water body where we go and drink water then the animal at that particular position would orient towards that source and start moving so one needs to add judge now the stimulus is the water knows the way the water is and it has to move if it is unknown even then if you see that there is a uh, you can locate the water body that is the stimulus you would move towards it similarly it could be for a so uh, source the stimulus could be the source of food or it could be a mate so orientation is very very important object orientation takes place when the animal tries to approach an object which may be food or water aquatic animals go vertically vertically in pond or lake which is called strata orientation and when the animals try to move from grassland to forest deserts or mountains it is called zonal orientation and animals which migrate long distances like very often we know the cranes the specifically maybe if we talk about uh, our area it be would be domicile cranes generally show topographical or geographical orientation orientation of locomotive behavior is usually categorized as either kinesis or taxis in kinesis an animal's body is not oriented in relation to a sensory stimulus rather the stimulus causes an alteration in speed or direction of movement so for example in wood lice the kinetic response alters only the rate of movement because wood lice tends to aggregate in moist areas their ambulatory activity increases or decreases as the relative humidity decreases or increases in the planarian which is an aquatic ciliated platform the kinetic response affects only the rate at which the planaria changes its direction because planaria tend to stay in or return to darker areas that is their preference the dark area 
an increase in line light intensity causes an increase in their turning responses why because they want to approach the dark area that is their preference so if we increase the light intensity what would happen uh, they would immediately migrate move move towards so there would there would be a change in the speed there would be a change in that direction because fastly they would like to go into the dark area generally however animals tend to alter both direction and speed as a single kinetic response in taxes an animal orients itself in a specific spatial relationship to a stimulus the orientation may be simply an alteration of body position or it may be an alteration of locomotor direction so that the animal moves towards away from or at a fixed angle to the source of stimulus sources that elicit a taxis response which may cause a modification of speed direction or maybe both seem to encompass the entire range of environmental stimuli such as gravity which would be termed as geotaxis in relation to temperature would be thermotaxis in relation to light would be phototaxis and of course associated with chemicals would be chemotaxis if the response is negative the animal moves away from the source or if it moves towards the source then it is said to be positive nearly all animals are mobile at some point in their life for some lower animals movement is undirected and random such as paramecium blundering about its environment such undirected orientation is called kinesis in contrast to kinesis taxis is the term for movement in response to some specific stimuli taxis involves more complex behavior than kinesis and is generally what we think of when we think of movement the control of response towards taxis is of two types in one is the open system control in which the initial response to a stimulus has no effect on subsequent responses to the same stimulus so for example a male firefly for example locates a female by the latest brief flashes of light when a male sees a female flash the male turns in the direction of the female even though the source is no longer visible if another female flashes however the male responds to the second flash in exactly the same manner as it did to the first now see in the example has been given in which it says that once the flash flash means uh, just for a fraction of a second that there is emission of light and then there is darkness so that flash of light uh, just a momentary flash that light was emitted from the female fly the male located the female and starts moving towards the same now even if now when it is in dark but that stimulus the first flash was sufficient enough and the ma uh, male starts to locate and move towards the female it turns its direction so that is what is taxis move taking that direction towards the female now the source is no longer visible you see even though the source that means that female is not uh, visible it just emitted a light for a fraction of a second and now it is not visible but then it has already oriented itself and now it doesn't need any other second or third response uh, or the stimulus but yes however if there is a second flash in exactly the same man uh, uh, from a, another female if there is an if the another female flashes the male will respond exactly in the same manner as it did to the first yet it would orient itself towards the second flash of the second female this is open system and the closed system control on the other hand the response is progressively altered by feedback so that all the subsequent responses are adjusted to the initial response a bat chasing a fly insect will alter its flight path to intercept that of the insect the bat's initial change in direction is only a general alteration of its course but as it approaches the insect the bat constantly modifies its course to obtain an accurate interception so uh, in the closed system the second responses or the uh, subsequent responses are all uh, are very important and uh, the they are adjusted based on the 
initial response. Thank you.